We just won this abandoned storage unit for $470. And I've been trying to win it for six months. It always gets canceled. There's a gun right inside. Let's do it. Isn't it just absolutely beautiful? And it's open, so we know there's nothing in it. That's great. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, let's start over here. Look at this guy right here. This is one of those like portable jumpers. These always go for like 25 bucks pre-owned. They're like 80 to 100 some dollars, depending on the brand brand new. So always good find. That's for you. Thanks. I don't want to. Oh, fine. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Let's see what's in the black bag, though. Come on, come on. Something cool, something cool. A pair of jeans and literal garbage. She nice. Did. Literal garbage. Well, I guess this will be our garbage bag. We'll use it for that. There's a lot of boxes over here, so it's going to be interesting. What is this one? A Nikon? Ooh, is it a camera? Let's see. It's a lens, actually. It looks like a very nice camera lens too. Look at that. I don't know what's going on over there, but very nice Nikon camera lens. That's definitely a good find. What is this that was in there? Seven year lens under $1,000? Oh, it's a warranty. That could be really expensive. That's cool. We'll set that right there. This is actually, look, brand new. It's a easy store, four terabyte hard drive, isn't Whoa. it? That's a four terabyte hard drive. That's cool. We need these, really, because 4K video files, they get big. Trust me. That's good. And we got a couple speakers here. They look old. They don't look like they're going to be worth a whole lot. Set them right there. Little boxes. The little ones are the ones I like. They're interesting. Let's see what's in there. Something is. This is nothing. But I don't know what it was supposed to be, either. There's nothing else in there besides a piece of paper. Hmm. I don't know what was supposed to be in there. Let's see mouse pad in this priority mailbox uh, another box nice a box in the box what, what is that beef jerky is that what it is seasoning oh seasoning let's see unused hey. there's a whole little set of seasonings <laughs> they got no sugar no nothing in them hey this will go to our kitchen hey we'll take it you can always take stuff for the house you know what i mean what's in a little white box let's see Something is. What's that? Is that a beep? No, I, I thought it was an old. Look, meat, clear, minute, taste. Huh. Oh, look. Thermometer. I didn't see this part. Oh, okay. It's a little thermometer. That's what it is. So that can go in there, too. Now let's get open. I guess. The, oh, that's a case. This whole time I thought this speaker went to that, and that was like a stereo system. That's actually a big black case. That's cool. Nice. So let's get into this box here, and I'm gonna need a knife for that. So it's supposed to be an X Air XR16 digital mixer. So use it definitely. Let's slice it open and see if that's actually what's inside the box because, well, anything could be in there. Oh, look, it definitely looks like it's got a couple things in it. This part of the box is stuck, can't get it out. There we go. <laughs> let's put the knife right here. That's exactly what we're looking new. for Ooh. yeah this has never been opened brand new x air xr 16. <laughs> these things i've found mixers in the past and let me tell you like the prices maybe 80 maybe 800 or anywhere in the middle i have no idea until we can get home and look it up but that is awesome i was absolutely mind blown when i looked this thing up pre-owned selling for around 700 dollars brand new over 1200 ours has never been opened there goes the price of the unit double next little box here come here little guy i'm liking a little box it's finding lots of nice electronics Look, oh, is that the camera lens we just found or is it a different one? Whatever, this one cost 80 bucks if it's a different one. Let's see. It is. It's still in box. Look at that. I mean, he probably bought it pre-owned because it's not in its original box. But that's another camera lens right there. And he just bought this. Okay, end of last year. So it's been in here for a while, but still it should hold its value. I bet it's still around 80 bucks. This looks sealed. What is that? An iPad Pro smart keyboard. That's brand new and sealed. And the fact that it has an Apple logo on it, you know what that means, right? Money. Way overpriced. <laughs> because that's their whole business model. There's that. And what is in here? Let's see. There's a bunch of small boxes in there. Look at that. You see this? That looks interesting. All right. Let's, let's get them open. Let's see what's in here first. This is whatever's in here. Oh, oh my goodness. My finger's not going to like this. The, they're hey, all fishing lures. They're in plastic. Though. Yeah, at least they're in plastic. If you don't know what I'm referring to, a couple of years ago we bought a storage unit that had about 15,000 of these in it, and yeah, I got stabbed a lot. 
This whole thing's fishing lures, and there's one more in here. This is the same baggie we found. I bet you this is fishing. Gummies. <laughs> so that, does that mean all this stuff here is gonna be fishing related? Let's see what's in this box right here first. Little guy, taped up. Where did I set that knife? Let me get this. All right. Let's see what's in this little dude right here. Such a tiny box, but it's taped up so nicely to be so small. Well, fishing lore galore. There's that. These, they're all fishing lures as well. We'll definitely have a whole lot of fishing lures. Does that mean that's what all the boxes are? Fishing lore galore? I like the rhyme. And one more. Fishing lure galore. These are small ones too, so I bet you all together there's probably a hundred fishing lures right there. You see this smile on my face? So I may have just lifted his bag up. Hello beautiful. Do you see what that says right there? What does that say? What does that say? Express gun case. <laughs> it might be for that, but fingers crossed he's got a twin brother in there, or at least another <laughs> friend in there. Alright, well, let's get to that. The thing with guns, where there's one, there's always more. Let's see. Anything in the trash bag? That's a brand new suit. Men's warehouse. Oh, look at that. What? That's exactly what I paid for the unit. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that is. That is really exactly. Weird. <laughs> they got it discounted though for still three hundred bucks. <laughs> That's the whole suit. That's crazy. That's brand new in here. Now I see why they kept paying this sucker off. I told you <laughs> this has been canceled like six times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this is. What are these? Is yeah, why? Oh, ooh. ooh. But the thing is, like, super ugly shoes nowadays. For some reason, they're worth a lot of money. Like, have you seen Yeezys? That is true. Yeah, I don't know what these are exactly, but for some China. reason, what does it say on it? Y F. What did it say? Oh, Y, -S, y -S, S Fashion. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to look that up. Unfortunately, they were only selling for about forty dollars, brand new on Amazon. Let's keep clearing bags here. This one that's definitely got stuff in it too. Let's try to just rip it open. Sure. We'll put it in the big black. Ah, this one looks like mail, but look at these. There's stuff in here like this. Like, what is this? A silver polishing kit. That's a good sign. Maybe they have silver. That would be cool. Lots of mail in here, lots of paperwork. Definitely something we're gonna take the time to look through. That is a charger and the rest of it. No, look at this. See, look. There's mail in here with actual stuff like this. What is that? That's um, pellets for an air rifle. That's definitely not an air rifle. That's a shotgun. But let's see what this is right here. There's another big old thing in here. This one is a whole bunch of cards. Like a huge horde of cards. Unused though. That one is. Let me pull out one more to see if they're unused. Yeah, I think they're all new. Yeah. So this is a whole huge horde of new cards. Is that all that's in here? The rest of it is actual paperwork, but let's just look in a manila envelope. It's unmarked and it's just closed. You know what I mean? That's weird. This is uh, DMV stuff. We'll go through it all later. I think I can move one more bag and then free our little buddy there. Ooh, he's long. So big. He's a big boy. What is that? Whatever you are, die right now. There's <laughs> some type of little bug. This, closed. Meh, uninteresting. This, get interesting. It. Get it, get it, get it. That's not empty. Let's see. Come on, baby. You ready? Yes. Let's oh, go. Is there another? Oh, there's a third one. Let's see. Oh, there's a fourth one. All right, now are you ready? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what caliber this is. First, make sure this thing is clear. All right, so nothing in here. Right here, check this out. It says, black powder and what to say over here it's a tradition 50 cal vortex strike fire it still has a sticker on it and everything and it's got a nice little scope on it what a beauty what a beauty this beautiful firearm is the vortex strike fire 50 cal black powder selling for about 500 dollars brand new ours is unfired and it comes with a scope so not bad and guys if anyone wanted an update on the last one, I forgot, I kind of realized I didn't say anything. We checked, we cleared all the serial numbers, all clean, but we sold none of them. They're all mine now. This is a great country we live in. Guys, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up right now if you haven't, and subscribe because this is not the only storage unit you know, with weapons we're buying today. So there's going to be a lot of them coming. Let's see what's in this box right here. Uh, this one's upside down. It's nice, a tripod, a Vivitar tripod. It's a nice brand too. And this one's actually in the box. If I had to guess, 
if you bought this new, this is probably gonna be about 80 bucks. Cause these are decent tripods. So that's a good find. You know what never mixes with firearms? This right here. Never go together. Unless of course you're using the bottle to shoot it in target practice. Then it goes together, but just don't drink and shoot. That, let's pull out, ooh. I see Apple box, I see an Apple box. We found a lot of new stuff in here. iPad Pro, oh, well. Uh, what does it say in there? Hold on. It has just a bunch of numbers in it. So maybe if we find an iPad in here, one of these numbers can be the password. I will keep it like that in my head. Empty. There's a lot of new stuff. Look at this. New Gillette Razor. This is an empty. What is it? No, it's not empty, but it's not really full either. It's just garbage. So that's trash. What is this? Whoa. Diamond Direct. Diamonds Direct. Is this what a candy actually? Yeah, okay, so that's actual candy. Let me check under it. No, but I see a lot of cards in here and cards could definitely mean money. Let's see, let's just open. Are these unopened? No, they're open, dang it. No, they're actually regular cards. And of course, just like pictures, like this picture here and these, we'll make sure the owner gets all this stuff back. Anything in there? Dang it, it felt heavy for a second. But man, it's glitter, I hate glitter. Anything else in there? No, just randomness. So there's that. A lot of prescriptions, medication, unfortunately. Diapers. Is this all clothes here? No, look, oh, this is all bathroom stuff. It's leaking out. That's no good, that's no good. More bathroom stuff and more clothes. Yeah, nothing else in there. Now let's see what's in the red bag here. This guy, what is it, what is it? More electronic? One more firearm or more fishing. Any of those I'll be happy with. More cards? Nothing. What about this little guy? Nothing. Again, we'll make sure they get that back. Ooh, look at that. That's an instruction manual for a scope. That's a good sign. In here, what is this guy? Is this like a car stereo or some kind of stereo? A Cirrus XM? Not sure about that. There's that. And what is this? Why is it wrapped up? Liquid concentrate, ocean spray. Why is that wrapped up like that? Oh, these are, look at that. These are um, glasses you take to the range. So good sign again, we might find more. Well, fingers crossed we're gonna find more. Always want more, right? Right, let's see. Ooh, this is a heavy bag right here. What is this? This is something hard. This is, well, a phone case. Okay. This looks like a charger to a Samsung laptop. I think I recognize this box. Yes, oh no, it's an Apple Pencil. I thought it was gonna be an Apple Watch. Is it actually in there? How does it open? Okay, this one comes out the side. By the way, guys, not an Apple person here, so I don't know anything about Apple, besides that it's overpriced. Look at that. Apple Pencil in the box. That's gotta be worth something too. That's fine, the entire unit, forget the firearms. We got mushrooms, baby. A giant can of mushrooms. This is better than anything. And by the way, I absolutely hate mushrooms and anything. When they put them on a steak and cheese, I feel like that should negatively affect your credit score. I really do. This is a blanket and some disinfecting wipes. I want to start tossing some clothes aside. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Oh, there's more. Oh, this isn't clothes. This room. Oh, what? <laughs> I opened it the wrong way. But this looks like a bunch of paperwork. And again, we're going to check through that off camera because people like to put money in envelopes. There's that. Clothes, clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes. Okay, I'm just gonna go through all these clothes so we can get them out the way. Yeah. Clothes, clothes. Literally almost all clothes besides this bag. That is, I think all paperwork. All paperwork with a little bit of clothes in the bottom. So let's get these out the way and then attack the boxes. Now the clothes are gone. Let's get into the first of these cardboard boxes here because I have no idea what we have here. What is that? A case? Yeah, for a K-S-H-I-O-E. I don't know what that is, but all right. This looks like, you know what this reminds me of? Our lights when we bought them, like the camera lights. I wonder if that's what they are, or just more camera lights. Well, that's like tripod right there for a light. Yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be, I bet you. I bet you one of these big boxes, like they're these smaller, but wide boxes right here have a bulb in them. Oh, look at that. A bulb. This is gonna be a set 
of camera lights and ours was about like what 240 240 bucks so if it's i don't know the brand it's one of those things where the brand prices vary a lot so hopefully it's a good brand but definitely at least 100 bucks try not to focus on the fact that there's a shotgun laying there along with a stack of what looks like laptops and electronics you know we'll get the, we'll get there when we get there first over here, look at this pair of boots. Brand new with tag. How much do they pay for these? Oh, they're from Walmart. So 23 bucks, but hey, you know, winter's coming fast. It's already September. That's cool. This, I'm gonna assume, is probably something to do with those lights, but we're gonna check. Oh, uh, look, there you go. Here's the whole thing. 45 watt umbrella lighting kit, so. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it probably goes with that. So this is a whole camera setup right there. What should I go into now? The giant case, the little bag, the white box. I like the white box. The white box. All right, yep. let's see. Oh, it's heavy. Let's see, I hope it's not paper. This is like a discharge from the hospital thing. Uh, yeah. I had a good look like it was, it felt like it was a big paper. Oh, no, not the bottom. What are all these? This is heavy. It's like, this. whatever this is, is full. It's not just a jar. This is Happy Farm. Honey. Honey? Yeah. So it's probably fresh honey, like straight from a bee or something. What about the envelope in there? All the money? No, it's more medical stuff. What about this over here? That's just for padding. Is this more honey? It is. Yep. That's a bunch of fresh honey, even this little thing. It always <laughs> shows like the Cheerios. Isn't the Cheerios bee have this on the Cheerios box? <laughs> yeah. That's what it makes me think of right there, so. Honey! So now, we got the stereo speaker we already saw that I don't seem to see anything else with. Like I said in the pictures, this was covered up. I thought that was the rest of the stereo. Ooh! But this is something big and black and decorative. Let's see what exactly is in this giant case. Let's see. Whoa, it's like a whole set, isn't it? We got us a drill, this one, a saw, a flashlight, and ugh, what is this one? A Firestorm 14.4 volt. So I'm gonna assume it is obviously used, not in the best condition, but still tools hold their value pretty well. So I bet you that's a good little chunk of cash. Brand new, this set was $150. So pre-owned, I would guess around 100. That long box could very easily be some type of rifle or shotgun as well. But let's see what's in. Ooh, this feels good. Feels like a watch box. Oh, Bolova. I think these are actually decent watches if it's in there. Aw, oh, just the box unfortunately, but. That doesn't mean the watch isn't somewhere else in the unit. But there's the receipt for it. How much do you think you paid for it? Uh, three. Oh no, this is actually a repair. They got the links repaired. And there's a little thing for it. So let's hope we find that watch somewhere else inside of this unit. Um, what are these? Just chairs? I think that's more lighting equipment. Yeah, this is. This is lighting. What about this though? What is that? It's like a photography backdrop type thing. Looks like it. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. This is back when everyone used to get their pictures taken at like Walmart, remember? <laughs> and you could go to Walmart and they'd have the- Pick your background. Yeah, the backdrop, that's exactly what that is. What's the big box here? Well, first let's see this. Is this actually a sound bar? What? Stop making me wait. I'm just doing it. Is this actually the sound bar? Let's see. Oh, we need the knife back. Let's slice this tape open really quick and find out. You think it is? Mm, yeah. No, I hope it's a rifle. No, it's actually the sound bar and it's actually still in its plastic. So probably never used. The amount of new stuff we've got in here so far is pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. All right, now, let's now. open this. Oh. Uh. <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for? Yeah. This is what you wanted to see? <laughs> Stupid box. Sorry. Tackle box? Sure. I, so I, I sound like I hear bleeding fingertips. What's up, wrong side. Nope, where does it open it? side huh the side got it let's see Ugh. it opens out like no both sides no there it goes oh whoa 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 this isn't yeah this is not fishing these are bullets so definitely bullets look at this maybe they redid their own remade their ammo and stuff there's a cleaning kit down there what are these tubes over here? See these? Hmm. I don't know. What is this right here? This guy has a power 50 cal bullet. It goes to that rifle. This is the receipt for some of this ammo piece. They paid 160 bucks for some little pieces and things like that. That is muzzle loader. Yeah, so it's definitely black powder muzzle loader. 
So that's actually better than I thought because that's one thing I would not have ammo for. And now we do. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. This beauty looks like definitely antique and old. Wow, it looks old. It's a protect, it says selected forged steel, 12 gauge. Yeah, man, that's a, uh, there's nothing in it obviously, so anyone can see. It's one of the ones you have to manually load. I'm trying to get the light on the side of it here. It's a, uh, what does that say? Revelation? Revelation model 35, or 350A. This guy looks really, really old. I'd honestly be kind of scared to fire it. I'm gonna guess it's almost antique gun people yeah. let me know what you think i definitely think it's old and because this one was open the facility let us know they saw it so they already called the police ran the serial number this one's clean already so that's a beauty to add to the collection more of a wall hanger than a shooter though i think this revelation model 350a is a pretty old shotgun brand new in good shape they're only worth about 250 to 300 dollars. so ours in this shape a hundred dollars maybe but you already know i'm definitely not selling this beauty it was made in the 60s so a nice old beautiful gun to add of the collection two guns so far and a lot more boxes to go let's uncover some more this one's closed oh this is going to our kitchen wait look at that <laughs> 100 hey. nice Dixie plates thank you for saving me like eight bucks at walmart <laughs> i appreciate that more clothes uh what's in this it's like bathroom stuff what's this another razor why do they have so many new razors yeah that's it nothing in there <laughs> look the total gun manual <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. What just came out of this Amazon package here? What is that? There's something in here. It's not empty. It's another bag in a bag. It is, well, some type of Nikon. So probably a charger to the battery. We found the lens of the lighting, but we haven't found the camera yet. I hope that's in here somewhere too. More clothes, more clothes, another Amazon bag. And that's one of those like muscle relaxer type things you put on your body. First, let's get to this bag before we look in that box. This bag has something in it. This is another, another laptop charger. I'll just set it right over here because obviously we have a hoard of electronics I haven't even looked into yet. Let's see if there's anything in this box. Clothes, clothes. This doesn't feel like clothes. Actually it is, but it's a belt in there as well. So clothes, what's this? It's all in some type of foreign writing. Another battery? Another laptop battery. Yeah, they got a lot of laptop batteries. I don't know, maybe I'm old school. My laptop had one in a charger. <clears throat> this is unfortunately all closed below it. Let's go to this one here. Close, close, <coughs> more close. This one is, what is that? I see something that's not closed. You see that? Yeah. What is it? Is this a, uh, what the heck is that thing? It's like a bird feeder? Oh, is that what it is? We might keep that. Yeah, maybe we'll put it in our yard for our <laughs> birds. And there's one more little box here, then we can start looking at the electronics. What's in the little guy? This is his handgun, right? Laptop chargers. There it is. So let's get these out the way. Let's see what kind of electronics we got. All right, so now we're sitting on the floor because I'm kind of a klutz and I like to drop things and I'd rather not do that with electronics and glass jars. This one, this is just a bunch of great value. Sliced salad. Yeah, that. So that's just a bunch of food. But the real reason we want to come down here is to look at the electronics. Because, ooh, look at that tablet. That might be the iPad. This Samsung's missing the battery. Luckily, we found about 12. This is a notebook RV511. And let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. That's, it's older. You can tell it's got a Windows 7 sticker on it. But still a nice little Samsung laptop. That's nice. And let's hope when I flip this over, we see the Apple logo. Ready? What's it say? Apple. Boom, there is the iPad. And hopefully the information that we found in the iPad back, I said backs, iPad box will help us unlock this. So this is model A1670. Okay, so I don't know what that means, but that'll allow me to look it up. Looking up the serial number, this is an iPad Pro Generation 2. Assuming we're able to get it unlocked, most of them are selling for between 300 and 350 bucks pre-owned. What about this one here? Is this another one? What is it? Apple. Boom, another iPad. Check that out. And this one's a model A1584. This one is an iPad Pro first generation, and these are selling for between $180 and about $250 each. 
two nice iPads. I can't tell if that's a crack. That's, I think this one might have a crack in it, but it's very slight. I don't think it would be enough to actually damage it. This one here, no battery in this Dell before. <clears throat> this one also has a Windows 7 sticker and an i5 processor, so not like top, top of the line, but it's like in the middle. Again, I don't really know what it's gonna be worth until we look it up, but hey, these electronics right here, that's awesome. Up here, we got this brown bag. This is unfortunately all paper. This envelope looks super thick, like with seven C's, so <laughs> I wanna just peek in there really quick and make sure it's just all paper. Yeah, just all paper, so that is just paper. Toss it right here. That's a keyboard, and this is a, I don't think it's gonna be in there, it's too light, but it feels a bit too heavy. I feel like it's gonna have like the instruction manual or something like that in there. So let's bust it open. There's supposed to be a Galaxy DX 44 HP 10 meter mobile radio, unless it's super light, which it could be. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't gonna be in there, but it does have some pieces in there. Let's see if all these bags are closed. This one, definitely closed. This guy, again, definitely closed. If it's not new stuff, you know what we do. We just donate all of it. This one, again, definitely closed. Definitely closed. Indefinitely closed. So those are all closed. And then we also have this nice flat screen TV. It's pretty big. I bet you it's like 50 inch or so. And then we got a pair of crutches and a couple canes. I'd say that was a banger unit. Make sure you subscribe because we also bought these two massive 8x28 storage units that you're gonna see next. They both belong to the same owner who unfortunately passed away just a few months ago. And just inside we can see taxidermy animals, ammunition, and if you look all the way in the back of the one unit, you can see that it's packing some heat and we don't even know what's under all the stuff. Gonna be crazy.